a life-saving option, liver transplantation as a beacon of hope for advanced PBC cases. Primary biliary cholangitis, PBC, formerly known as primary biliary cirrhosis, is a chronic autoimmune liver disease that primarily affects the small bile ducts within the liver. Although considered a rare disease, PBC can lead to progressive liver damage, cirrhosis, and ultimately liver failure if left untreated. This article aims to provide a detailed understanding of PBC, including its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and management strategies. Causes and Risk Factors The exact cause of PBC remains unknown, but it is believed to be an autoimmune condition in which the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the bile ducts. Certain risk factors, such as genetics, environmental triggers, and hormonal factors, may contribute to the development of PBC. Women, particularly those aged 30 to 60, are disproportionately affected by the disease. Pathophysiology In PBC, the immune system's attack on the bile ducts leads to their inflammation, destruction, and subsequent bile flow impairment. This results in the accumulation of toxic bile acids within the liver, causing progressive damage to liver cells and leading to fibrosis and cirrhosis over time. Symptoms the symptoms of PBC can vary from person to person and may initially be mild or absent. As the disease progresses, common symptoms include fatigue, itching, pruritus, dry eyes and mouth, jaundice, abdominal pain, and bone or joint pain. Some individuals may also experience complications related to liver cirrhosis. Such as ascites, fluid accumulation in the abdomen, or hepatic encephalopathy, brain dysfunction due to liver failure. Diagnosis Diagnosing PBC involves a combination of clinical evaluation, blood tests, imaging studies, and liver biopsy. Blood tests often reveal elevated levels of liver enzymes, such as alkaline phosphatase, ALP, and gamma-glutamyl transferase, GGT. The presence of specific antibodies, such as antimitochondrial antibodies, AMA, is a hallmark of PBC. Mugging studies, such as ultrasound or magnetic resonance cholangiography, MRCP, can help assess the bile duct structure and identify any obstructions or abnormalities. Management and Treatment While there is no cure for PBC, several treatment approaches aim to slow disease progression, alleviate symptoms, and manage complications. The primary treatment for PBC is ursodeoxycholic acid, UDCA, a medication that helps improve liver function, reduce inflammation, and delay the progression to cirrhosis. Other medications, such as obeticholic acid, may be prescribed for individuals who do not respond adequately to UDCA. Symptomatic relief for pruritus may be achieved through antihistamines, bile acid sequestrants, or opioid antagonists. Liver transplantation. In advanced cases of PBC with liver failure or end-stage liver disease, liver transplantation may be considered. Transplantation offers the best chance for long-term survival and improvement of quality of life. However, the availability of suitable donor organs and the need for lifelong immunosuppressive medications are important considerations in the decision-making process. Lifestyle Modifications Adopting a healthy lifestyle is crucial for individuals with PBC. This includes maintaining a balanced diet, engaging in regular exercise, avoiding alcohol consumption, managing body weight, and quitting smoking. Vaccinations for hepatitis A and B, as well as pneumococcal and influenza vaccines, are recommended to prevent additional liver damage from infections. Epidemiology PBC is considered a rare disease, with a prevalence estimated to be around 40 to 400 cases per million individuals worldwide. However, it is important to note that the actual prevalence may be higher due to underdiagnosis and misdiagnosis. PBC predominantly affects women, with a female-to-male ratio of approximately 9 to 1. The average age at diagnosis is typically between 40 and 60 years, although it can occur at any age. If left untreated or poorly managed, PBC can lead to various complications and negatively impact liver function. These complications may include portal hypertension, high blood pressure in the portal vein, esophageal varices, enlarged veins in the esophagus, liver cirrhosis, hepatocellular carcinoma, a type of liver cancer osteoporosis, weak and brittle bones, and vitamin deficiencies, such as vitamins A, D, E, and K. Autoimmune associations. PBC is often associated with other autoimmune conditions. The most common autoimmune association is autoimmune thyroid disease, particularly Hashimoto's thyroiditis or hypothyroidism. Other autoimmune conditions that may coexist with PBC include Sjogren's syndrome, systemic sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and systemic lupus erythematosus.
regular screening for these associated conditions may be recommended for individuals diagnosed with PBC. Disease progression. The progression of PBC is highly variable among individuals. Some may experience a slow disease course with minimal symptoms and a favorable response to treatment, while others may progress more rapidly, leading to advanced liver disease. Predicting the rate of disease progression is challenging, but certain factors such as advanced age, male gender, presence of symptoms at diagnosis, elevated liver enzyme levels, and advanced histological stage on liver biopsy may indicate a higher risk of rapid progression. Support and patient advocacy. Living with a chronic liver disease like PBC can be challenging, both physically and emotionally. It is important for individuals with PBC to seek support from healthcare professionals, support groups, and patient advocacy organizations. These resources can provide valuable information, emotional support, and guidance on managing the disease, coping with symptoms, and navigating treatment options. Research and advances. Ongoing research efforts are focused on gaining a deeper understanding of the underlying mechanisms of PBC, identifying novel therapeutic targets, and developing more effective treatments. Clinical trials are underway to evaluate the safety and efficacy of new medications, combination therapies, and immune modulating agents. These advancements hold promise for improved outcomes and better quality of life for individuals living with PBC.